Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back, and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Hey, hey, Taurus, what's going on? What's happening? How is... Ooh, look at that. Ooh, look at that. How is the tribe doing these days, Taurus? How you guys doing? Woohoo! I don't know about where you're at, but where I'm at, it is a fabulous weekend. Fabulous weather. Fabulous weekend. Guess what I'm doing this weekend? I am moving. The time is now. The time is now. I found the place a while back and just been waiting for this day. So guess what we're doing this weekend? I'm moving. Right on, Taurus. Let's see what these cards have to say for you. Yeah, let's see what they have to say. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. Snuggle up to the table and let's have a talk. If you're coming back to the channel, thank you so much for all of your support. Y'all just never cease to amaze me. You really don't. Everybody that I talk to from a personal tarot card reading perspective, um, y'all just uplift me and support me so much. And Sometimes I don't uh, realize how important I am to you. So thank you for that. It's a very reciprocal thing. Very reciprocal thing. So thank you for that, Taurus. So let's do this. It's going to work the way that it always works. I'm going to shuffle and pray. I'll lay out a whole bunch of cards. I'm going to confuse the heck out of you while I clarify it. And I'll sew together a story, okay? All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see what's coming for the old Taurus. What's coming? Coming for Taurus. Spirit, Source, Universal Energy. I have the Collective of Taurus with me. Spirit, and Taurus wants to know what you know. What do you know about this particular Taurus, and what do they need to know and understand? Hold on, I'm losing my cards here. What do they need to know and understand about themselves? their lives, and their futures. Spirit, what's coming towards this, Taurus? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And how do they navigate for their very best and highest good? Please tell me where the stopping point is for Taurus. I'll cut three times and I'll pull straight from the top. What does... Oh, I think that feels really good right there. All right, let's do it. Let's go. One, two, three. One, two, three. And three, bottom of the deck, the Prince of Pentacles. Same old, same old, long, steady, stable. The Eight of Pentacles, expectations, working something out. Delusion with the Seven of Cups in reverse. And the Two of Wands, the future. You know what? I feel prompted to take the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, Temperance in reverse, and we'll take that Hangman as well. This will all make hella sense in just a second. All right, all right, all right. What are we looking at here? We are looking at, <coughs> excuse me, we are looking at the Seven of Pentacles. First card out sets the tone for everything, reflection and assessment. The High Priestess in reverse to the Devil. Ouch, what is that about? High Priestess in reverse to the Devil, to the Magician. All righty, all righty. And the Five of Swords, some kind of mindset. The Queen of Wands in reverse to the Ten of Swords. The Lovers in reverse in the center of the reading. The Four of Swords in reverse. And the Empress. Alrighty. We have the Six of Wands in reverse down here at the bottom. The Sun. The Ten of Cups. The Princess of Cups. The King of Pentacles. And the Six of Cups in reverse. Okay. Um, nine of Swords in reverse. The Prince of Swords in reverse and the Princess of Wands, the Two of Cups in reverse, the Four of Wands. Look at all that flip flopping right there, right? And then the Eight of Cups to the Emperor and the Princess of Pentacles. All right, let's see what all this is about, Taurus. Let's see what all this is about. So the Seven of Pentacles, reflection and assessment, taking a step back and looking at the way you're going about doing something. To the moon, 
okay? The, the, the Achilles heel of every human being. Struggle between that what you know to be true and that which you just simply do not want to be true. And the result of that struggle is the Wheel of Fortune. So why is the High Priestess in reverse? Is this particular Taurus not listening? Are they not listening to their guts? Tell me about the High Priestess in reverse. Judgment, yeah. Yeah, okay. And then the devil, some kind of an attachment that's a restriction to your growth. Uh All right, Taurus, this is what's going on, okay? For whoever this is for, this is what's going on. So we open. We open with the Seven of Pentacles right here, okay? Seven of Pentacles is about taking a step back taking a step back and looking at something from a profit, reward, investment kind of perspective, okay? So taking a step, a step back, reevaluating a situation. Why? The moon. Because you are struggling. You're struggling with a, a, a deep emotional struggle between that which you know to be true inside of yourself and that which you just don't want to accept is the truth, okay? I'm going to explain. Hold on. Hang with me, okay? The tower comes on top of this, and this is the truth, okay? Because it's clarified by the Queen of Swords. The truth that you know inside of yourself is that this particular situation that we're fixing to talk about um, is not a good situation. It's not a good situation. You see the impending doom associated with this situation. But with the moon card, you're struggling between the truth that you know, being the tower, and your emotions about the situation. Okay? All right. The Oops, I'm sorry, and I have the Ace of Pentacles in my in reverse in my hands as well. This Ace of Pentacles in reverse is a lack of planning and a lack of foresight, okay? Your lack of foresight in the situation is going to cause the tower, okay? But you know in your guts that this could result in a tower. And the High Priestess in reverse says you're willing to ignore that. You're willing to ignore that. You're, you're not... You're not listening to what your soul is telling you because this situation, this situation is touchy. It's a touchy, touchy situation, okay? All right. The devil follows this, okay? The devil talks about what's not in your best interest, um, someone who is... And, and I think this devil is, is, is you because it's Major Arcana, right? So it's speaking to you. And what it's saying is that this is an attachment that is a restriction to your growth. What is all of that contemplation in the moon energy ignoring your intuition? Because this whole thing is about someone who has made a bad decision in their life. And they are coming to Taurus to clean it up, okay? And you know it's a shit show with the tower, but you struggle in your emotions for this person, okay? High Priestess in reverse says you're not listening. Follow your guts of the moon card, right? The struggle between that which you know to be true and that which you just don't want to accept as the truth. What you know to be the truth is that this situation is impending doom, okay? <laughs> Queen of Swords says, see that truth, right? The devil, something that is, is not in your best and highest good. Okay, judgment comes on top of the high priestess in reverse and says, you got to make some discerning, clear cut, drop dead, serious decisions about this situation. And your guts is your ancient soul from back in the day. Same soul that's going to pick up when this old meat suit wears out. Same soul that leads you and guides you right now. But the old devil, the human being, struggles against the devil, right? The flesh, right? Uh, doing things against high priestess in reverse. Doing things against our intuition. And this particular Taurus 
is contemplating doing something against their intuition and judgment says, uh, 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 look, judgment to the wheel of fortune. Uh, 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 if you want us to lead you and guide you and show you the direction of your best and highest good, you will use good discernment in this situation because if you make a decision against your intuition, it will blow up in your face. Okay. The devil is clarified by the hermit in reverse. Guess what that is? Just like the high priestess in reverse. It's disconnected from soul searching and introspection. It's disconnected from your soul's guidance. And justice in reverse comes on top of it and says, no, no, Taurus, no. It's not in your best interest. And it's particularly an injustice to your life to not follow what you know to be true inside of yourself. Your lack of accountability for that is going to produce the injustice in your life. The Wheel of Fortune, again, says good, use good discernment so we can keep you on track. Okay? It's a turning point. If you will use good discernment in this situation, your whole everything is going to go in the direction, guess what? The alchemist is going to go in the direction of manifestation. Your life, the way that your life needs to be, nine of cups, wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction. So you're at a crossroads with this whole huge decision here and sources saying if you'll do what we're telling you to do, it's going to result in everything good. If you don't do what, you're, what we're telling you to do, it's going to result in everything bad. It's a huge warning right across the top. Five of Swords, holding on to a win-at-all-cost mindset with a white-knuckle grip is a problem. What's that mindset? It's what you don't want to accept as the truth in the moon, right? Five of Swords also tells me that there is a threat of someone in your circle, whoever this is about right here, the other person that this is about, you are concerned that they are going to be pissed at you and they are going to hold a lot of resentment if Taurus doesn't help them. Okay? And the Ten of Wands, they're saddling you with some kind of burden and struggle. They are. This whole thing here is about someone needing your help that has made bad decisions in their life and now they're trying to hand it off to the Taurus. And the Taurus has to face whether they're going to follow what they know to be true in their guts or if they're going to buckle to the threat of this person's re long-term resentment because Taurus doesn't help them. And the Ten of Wands is Taurus trying to work through this huge burden. Um, it is. Okay, the Queen of Wands in reverse. See, Queen of Wands reverse, the burden, the resentment of the Five of Swords right there. The other person, the person that's coming to you for help because they done fucked up everything, is the Queen of Wands in reverse. And this person, Taurus, will be hyper pissed, hyper pissed, passive aggressive, hyper pissed if you don't help them nine of swords in reverse and i think you've had experience with this person before some of you have experienced this person's wrath in the past and that's what has you walking on eggshells nine of swords in reverse is an intense amount of anxiety and despair this person may be going through an intense amount of anxiety and despair to the ten of swords um, your decision to help this person or not could very well be the straw that breaks the camel's back and ruins this relationship. It could be. Uh, Ten of Swords is betrayal, deception, uh, misalignments. I always think of the chiropractor when I see this card, right? All those swords in the back. I'm like, oh, goodness, they need to see my chiropractor. <laughs> but this card is about ruin, endings, loss, crisis, defeat, right? And that's what you're, you have to choose from. You have to choose whether you want to stay on the good high road or if you want to buckle to this person demanding 
um, um, or, or threats, okay? And the seven of wands in reverse comes on top of this and says, not only are you not dealing with this person, but you are so overwhelmed that you're just kind of ignoring this person. And the four of cups talks about contemplation and reevaluation, right? Take a step back and realize that you're missing a critical piece in your emotional processes that's going to bring stability to your decision-making abilities, okay? Reevaluate, step back, contemplate, and reevaluate how you going about dealing with this situation. Lovers in reverse, because this person's low vibing, low vibing, low vibing, angry, passive aggressive, um, selfish, insecure, and jealous is part of that Queen of Wands in reverse too, right? That this person is low vibing. And if you lay yourself down for this person, then the low vibe is going to take you off track. The world. It's time to address this. It's time to address this with this person. It is. Close this long-standing cycle out with this person and address it. Because it is a relationship that doesn't share the same values. They're trying to manipulate, shame, and coerce you to do something that you don't want to do. And the, your guts are telling you not to do it. The universe in this reading is telling you not to do it. But Taurus has some kind of severe repercussions to face if they don't help this person. Possibly family judgment. Possibly this person. I mean, the Queen of Wands in reverse is the crazy lady of the tarot. I mean, maybe this person's going to slice your tires or smash your car with a baseball bat or something. But you have to address this. You have to address this. This is a big deal in your life. And if you don't handle this, it's just going to continue to perpetuate. Not only is it going to continue to perpetuate, but you're sacrificing your whole everything to get someone out of a jam that's probably just going to get themselves in a jam again. Four of swords in reverse. You might be worried about this person. The Empress says posture as the Empress. Posture as the Empress. Who's the Empress? She's the dirt of life. That's why she's called fertility all over the tarot. She's the dirt of life. Nothing grows from a spiritual, comprehensive perspective without standing in the power of the Empress. She's lesson three of everything, and she comes from lesson one and two. She is the, the seedbed of all creation in life because she understands that what she thinks about comes about. She understands that her intuition is her soul's guidance trying to point her towards her true north. And she's very careful to point her mind in the direction that her ancient soul is trying to lead her. This is you. This is the card of Taurus. It's Libra as well, but we're talking Taurus here. This is you. This is your advice. The Wheel of Fortune, the World, the Nine of Cups. This is a big testing ground for Taurus right here. The Empress says Eight of Cups in Reverse. Eight of Cups in reverse is about walking away from something. And the sad thing is, is that this person might walk away from you if you don't buckle. And that is something that you absolutely have to come to terms with. You absolutely have to come to terms with that. Strength in reverse. And this is a weakness. Um, like I said before, some of you already have go-rounds with this person. Could be a, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a husband, a wife, a daughter, a son, a mother, a father, a co-worker, a boss. Uh, something you've kind of... And, and, and it also could be, for some of you, maybe not having this with this person, but perhaps this is a cycle because we do have the world right here, right? Maybe this particular Taurus extends themselves way, way, way further than the call of duty um, needs them to. 
Mm -hmm. Perhaps this is some kind of a life pattern that, of course, if you will follow the dots, will lead you back to your childhood. Um, strength in reverse says this is a weakness. You are succumbing to this. You are not overcoming it. So, four of pentacles. Pull yourself together. Pull yourself together, Taurus. Six of wands in reverse. Because there is no success for you in this situation. There's success for this person in this situation. But there's no success for you in the situation. The Knight of Swords in reverse. This person might not speak to you. Maybe ever again. Maybe for a long time. If you go through with what these cards are advising you to do. Which is to stand your ground and say no. Exactly. The Knight of Swords in Reverse is also a card about a disregard for consequences, okay? And with the lack of success with the Six of Wands and the disregard for the consequences with the Knight of Swords in Reverse, perhaps this person, perhaps, perhaps this person has a cycle in their life where they do stupid shit with a disregard for consequences and then they dump it on this particular Taurus. Oh, done fucked up again. Here you go, Taurus. Help me out. Help me get out of this. Help me fix this. Help me help me arrange my life somehow, some way, repeatedly, over and over and over again. And the hangman says, how long are you going to do this for? How long are you going to hang here, Taurus? How long are you going to sacrifice your peace and safety and, and, and emotional well-being for this person? Hangman says, take a step back reevaluate the situation and cut yourself loose from the tree posture as the empress and flip that high priestess in the upright so the universe can continue to divinely orchestrate the steps of your path because they will not intervene in your free will and if your free will buckles to this person it will end in a tower situation it will the sun your path to happiness, success, and vitality, the Ten of Cups, your path to peace and happiness, Princess of Cups, to the King of Pentacles, your path to happiness, success, and vitality, emotional well-being, is to politely... I'm going to clarify that. Hold on, Taurus. Tell me about this Princess of Cups, please. Tell me about this Princess of Cups. Tell me about this Princess of Cups, please. Tell me about this Princess of Cups, please. Tell me about this Princess of Cups. Who's this King of Pentacles? Is this Taurus? Is this King of Pentacles Taurus right here? Yes. Okay. All right. So, 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 so. Your advice in the situation is to see very clearly. To have peace in your life means that you need to emotionally expand with this Princess of Cups. And that's kind of what this Four of Cups over here was telling you, okay? Emotional expansion, emotional growth. The Princess of Cups is about synchronicity around you creative beginnings um, and sometimes sometimes it's a messenger okay and all of that kind of comes together in this card right here because what this is saying is be compassionate be empathetic um, but also control yourself control yourself six of swords and leave this situation for this person to clean up not Taurus. Taurus is not the janitor of this person's life. And temperance. Temper yourself in this situation once and for all. And like I said, you might lose this relationship, Taurus. You might. At least for a little bit. But you've got to do what you got to do for not only your own well-being, but this person so they can reap the consequences of their disregard for consequences and work their shit out themselves and maybe learn something so they don't do this stupid stuff anymore. 
the king of pentacles this is taurus this is taurus being in control having power over themselves and being in control the Ten of Wands in reverse talks about avoiding the burden, dumping the burden, unloading the burden. It's about the avoidance of responsibility, right? So Taurus is going to dump the burden of this person's lack of responsibility, okay? Look, the Sun again. See very clearly the key to happiness, success, and vitality, death in reverse, is inner purging inner purging to create an inner transformation look five of wands in revert and stop avoiding the conflict stop avoiding the conflict that you know will happen when you tell this person no and handle it once and for all okay what do we got now six of cups in reverse uh, perhaps again, those of you who have uh, who know this person already, um, Six of Cups in Reverse says perhaps this goes back to childhood. Perhaps this is a sister or a brother that has never gotten their shit together. Six of Cups in Reverse also talks about unrealistic expectations stuck in, 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 like I just said, stuck in the past, right? However it is, perhaps this stuck in the past thing are the dots back to your childhood and why you let people take advantage of you. Uh-huh. To the Eight of Swords in reverse, break free from the mental imprisonment and have a new perspective. What's the mental imprisonment? Nine of Swords, same Nine of Swords that was on this Queen of Wands over here, right? If you've known this person for a long time, this person has given you grief over and over and over again. If this is about you changing some kind of behavior pattern in your life, this behavior pattern has given you grief over and over and over again because someone isn't responsible with the Prince of Swords to the Four of Swords in reverse and you worry about this person. You worry about this person a lot. Princess of Wands and you want to put forth some effort to help this person out to get on the right track but you keep doing it over and over and over again and they just keep consuming what it is that you're giving and you are circumventing this person's life lessons by helping them repeatedly. Two of Cups in reverse, again reiterating, you may lose this relationship, at least momentarily. The Four of Wands, but for your own peace, for your own safety, for your own harmony in your life, Eight of Cups, you need to walk away from this. This is about abandonment, and perhaps Taurus feels like they would be abandoning this person if they didn't clean up the mess again, and maybe this person needs to be abandoned, Taurus. Maybe this person needs to stand scared and alone for the first time ever so they stop doing the stupid shit that they're doing. The Emperor to the Princess of Pentacles. Um... <sighs> I kind of think when you tell this person no, they're going to find someone else that's going to do this. I, that's what I believe. I think that they're going to find someone else to clean up their mess. And that's just fine. That's none of your business, Taurus. It's not. It's none of your business. Your business is to say, absolutely not. I am not doing this for you again. I'm not doing it. Not doing it. The Ten of Cups and the Eight of Wands. That's fine. That's fine. If they want to get your, I hope this person isn't going to circumvent you and try to go to a husband, a wife, a, a father, a, a, um, um, a mother, someone else. I feel masculine energy here, but it doesn't really necessarily mean everything. I'm a female by birth, but I have a ton of masculine energy. I have so much masculine energy that I have to actually make myself be more feminine in the presence of certain people because it intimidates the shit out of them, right? Um, okay, so I have a feeling that this person is going to try to circumvent you and go behind your back and get someone else to do what it is that they're asking you to do, okay? And that's fine. That's absolutely fine, but not Taurus, not Taurus. 
the Ten of Cups and the Eight of Wands to maintain your sense of peace, to maintain your sense of harmony, happiness, and most importantly, alignment with universal order, Eight of Wands. You got to pass on this. You got to pass on it. Movement, action, change. You have to change the way that you're processing. Why, Taurus, why do you give of yourself until there is no more to give that is not healthy? It's not kind, it's not compassionate, and it's not healthy. Straight up, okay? Don't do that. When it comes to this particular person, You've had, some of y'all have had go rounds over and over and over with this person. When are you going to let the sting of the decisions that this person makes in their life bite them in the ass so they can learn something? Stop circumventing this person's lessons by making life easier because of their bad decisions. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Bottom of the deck. The hangman, right? Pause, process, cut yourself loose from this tree to temperance in reverse because this is this is something that that you need to realign. Okay? Temperance in reverse is about an imbalance, a need for self-healing, a need for realignment. Cut yourself loose from the tree with a realignment. Nine of Pentacles in reverse because this person um, is possibly a financial setback for you. But most importantly, this Nine of Pentacles in reverse is a waste of time. To the Two of Wands, look into the future. Seven of Cups in reverse and stop with the wishful thinking. Stop with the wishful thinking. Are you going to step into your power as the Empress back there? Or are you going to stay where you are in this whole situation? Wishful thinking with the Seven of Cups in reverse. Delusion. Delusional. Look, the Eight of Pentacles, that this person is going to work their shit out. Because if you keep helping this person, they're not going to know how to work their shit out. To the Prince of Pentacles. And this person is going to perpetuate this as long as you will allow them to consume you, Taurus. And it's in your best interest. Happiness, success, and vitality. See very clearly. Happiness, the world, this cycle needs to close. This is an unviable relationship. It's no good for you. You're disconnected. This person is using you. And you're ignoring your intuition about it. Ignoring your intuition about it is going to create a tower. It's going to create a crumbling situation because you can't come to terms between your intuition and your emotions somehow. Make discerning decisions with judgment. Make discerning decisions and push forward, Taurus. Push forward. Look to the alchemist and the nine of cups so you can continue manifesting your life wishes fulfilled comfort happiness satisfaction everything that's good and beautiful the nine of cups the ten of cups the wheel of fortune the magician the world all of it follow your guts taurus and do what you know you have to do in this situation I sure hope that helps someone. If you want your cards read, you can hit me up at thepathofpurpose.org. And I still have the sale going on because you all seem to absolutely love that. So I got the sale going on. 30 minutes, 50 bucks. 45 minutes, 75 bucks. Links are in the description box below. Thepathofpurpose.org. And hey, check out my book. Who do you think you are? A step-by-step -step guide to shed your skin and awaken your soul. This book is available as a paperback on Amazon, an ebook on Kindle, and an unofficial Audible version on Gumroad. Who do you think you are and why? Despite what you've been told and despite what you may believe about yourself, you are important, your existence has meaning, and your life has purpose. Let me show you how to find the ancient soul buried beneath your expectations and society's labels. Let's explore your true self, who you are at your core, to live a peaceful and meaningful life.
We will walk through the concepts of spiritual growth and prepare you for the path ahead, your true purpose, with self-paced, step-by-step guidance to unbox your mind and free your soul. Walk with me through the journey of spiritual awakening with thought-provoking insight that will challenge everything you think you know about the who, what, where, when, and why of this crazy thing called life. Life doesn't have to be a struggle. There is a better way, and your truth will set you free. This book is available as a paperback on Amazon, an ebook on Kindle, and an unofficial Audible version on Gumroad. All of the links are in the box below. Namaste.